Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Instruxan, this is Daily Rambles. I forgot my hat, so whatever. We're doing the season six finale of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is uh, The Sign and New Life, because they combine um, episodes 12 and 13 together. This was an awesome season finale. So anyway, we start with Flint talks to them and uh, shows Izzel his powers because he wants her to let Mac and Yo-Yo go. And she just kind of doesn't get it because Matt's like, don't do it. Don't do it. But what's he do? <laughs> he does it anyway. So Izzel uh, takes him over and rebuilds the monoliths. And then Sh S.H.I.E.L.D. is preparing for everything. It's preparing to move out and deal with everything. Then we have Deke. Um, many of the devices to block Azel because um, Fitzsimmons created like one of them. But Deke created a lot of them to help protect everybody. And then we cut to Romaine wants to see if she can separate that thing um, that Azel is from Coulson or from Sarge. Then Azel sends out strikes, and then we cut to her shield, found the bus, and they uh, go through it, and it's cleared. And so they're going in dark, because they think that Azel can pick up on sub frequencies, which also includes radio, so they're, doing, they're going in dark. Then Deke has an idea, and then we cut to where Flint is awake and breaks out Mac and Yo-Yo, but then Azel hurts Flint through Yo-Yo and shattered his knee. And then we cut that, um, well, then we cut to where Deke um, brought in his staff from his company, <laughs> and they um, created a jaunt drive. And then we cut to where Fitz is very upset that calms down a little bit and so then we cut to where the people are coming and um and surrounding Quake and Sergeant May. So we have a really good fight scene and then we cut to back to where Fitz is put again upset and then they argue. Then uh calls Deke out and then Deke breaks down and then he literally takes the jump ship which is like kinda portable but kinda not and teleports himself to the temple. <laughs> and um, it actually works and then um, we also cut to where um, where Deke um, puts on the devices that has this block the signal jammer the sonic frequency jammer on everybody and it actually works and then we cut to where um, he got Mac, Yo-Yo, and Flint out then faces the people alone and then he starts to freak out and tries to get out but it requires a charge so he kind of can't move anywhere really he jumps like 10 feet then we cut to where um Adele starts to sing and then um uh, we cut to where d goes uh goes to it and sets up a gopro so um uh, team shield can see what's happening then matt's like and Yo-Yo are on the bus and B Piper fills them in and Mac is kind of like Sarge is with the main quake okay then Sarge hears Azil singing and then Deke uh, tries it again because he started to freak out again because he got surrounded by people and he managed to get out of the temple then he runs for it because more people showed up and then we cut to where Azil is starting to open the gate because her singing is um liquefying the monoliths to create a bridge to her world. Then we cut to where Sarge is starting to get really upset. <laughs> then we cut to where the strikes are on the bus. And then, um, or the people that are taken over by strikes are on the bus. And then uh, we cut to where um, <laughs> Quake argues with Mac and they kind of put a pin in it. Then we cut to where Sarge, uh, Sarge found Azel. And he was about to like send her on a permanent vacation forever, but then he stopped and he says, I can't do it. Then we go back to Quick, argues with Mac about Sarge. Then May tries to get through to Sarge uh, slash Coulson. And that didn't work. Cause he because she goes like, What you're feeling is love, your love for us and everything and to me. And so he um impaled her with his sword and sent her through the freaking 
vortex to the other world, which literally say WTF. I literally said that and I never say the F word like ever. But I was like, what in the actual F is happening? And then we cut to where Enoch is on Kitson and then meets with Isaiah and basically the Chromacons have been reassigned and that includes Isaiah to Hunters and try to take out Enoch. And that was the end of that episode. Then we jump right into the next ones because it literally is back to back. Then we cut to where S.H.I.E.L.D. is in shock because they saw the whole thing go down with Sarge and May through the GoPro. That was the end. Um, wi fi in to the main command. And then um, Fitzsimmons managed to tell Daisy before the cons went offline and the Chromacons are at the lighthouse and start taking people out. And then Daisy gets upset and then we cut to where D communicates with them and so they're trying to get him to them and that was a no-go because uh, the strikes took out um, a bunch of stuff so where he can't really fly. So they're trying another way. Then we cut to where Fitz figure out the Chromacons idea. Basically, they figured out, um, cause they went out to one of the main floors that's supposed to be for emergencies and that's supposed to be a verbal command only. And basically the Chromacons already took out the people on that floor. So they, so he got the idea that they know everything about them as far as protocols are concerned. So they try to think of another one and that is Deke's lab. Then we cut to where Sarge um, hit Zill and uh, got mad at her because she loved him to stay there for centuries. <laughs> then we cut to where Deke is um, finally managed to take off after uh, Strike tried to um, get him but he bit him so he will let go and rerouted stuff and he got into the air. Then we cut to where Yo-Yo uh, took care of the strikes on the bus, but a spare strike, an actual bird thingy, got into her. Then we cut to where Deke uh, crashed on top of the freaking uh, bus. <laughs> then we cut to where the hooded figures go to their station that has like the three, the, so they have, each have three fragments of a monolith as like a necklace thing, and they're about to put it on the, like this um, thing to open this gate. Then we find out that May is still alive and stops them and throws the stones back through the gate. <laughs> and then we cut to where, where I lost my place. <laughs> then we cut to where Fitzsimmons don't have a way out and they get surrounded so they're prepared to sacrifice themselves to literally um, stop the hunters. Then we turn out Isaiah uh, saved them and that uh, it's really Enoch <laughs> took Isaiah's skin. Gross. And then gives them a plan, which means you have to um, create a new um, trajectory in your life separately or something like that. Then we cut to where Yo-Yo wants Quake to off her if she starts to turn and Quake says okay, but that's not going to happen. Then Azel is going after May and is that great fight scene. And then we cut to where Mac, D, Quake, and Yo-Yo are at the temple, and then we have Sarge versus Quake, and he basically knocks her out. And then we cut to where Yo-Yo starting to turn, and then it's um, fight scene versus Sarge with Mac. And then we cut to where, um, go back to um, the May fight scene, and that was super cool. And then it's up in the gate, then Yo-Yo is still turning, and Mac and Quake are trying to figure out what to do, and then uh, then you have a fight scene between Mac and Sarge, and that is an impressive fight scene. Oh my god. And then it's Quake versus Sarge, and then um, as, you know, Sarge is taunting Quake, as Zell's about to come up and about to hurt Quake, but then May comes through and sends Azel on a permanent vacation, and then Mac off to Sarge with the sword. Then we cut to where, um, also when that happened, um, Yo-Yo, uh, threw up the strike, whatever that was in her, and now she's okay. Then we cut to where May is gone, question mark, and then we cut to where Simmons comes in with a whole crew and revitalized her. 
and um, they go back to the Zephyr, which has been kind of been tricked out and looks awesome. And they don't know where Fitz is, and they're watching the um, newly christened uh, Fitz bus. And then we uh, see that the Chrome Cons want Earth, and they activate the device to launch. And I don't know if they went back in time or what they did. I feel like they went back in time. I feel like they did. So, yeah, that happened. And they brought in uh, Coulson LMD. And that's in the episode. So, basically, crazy, crazy season finale. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I Loved it. Um, I give this a plus. It was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was not expecting a lot. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting what, I was, what happened. <laughs> I was expecting some stuff, but I was like, um, what's happening? Because this is so freaking cool. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> but it, it's just a whole crazy thing. The fight scenes were on another level of crazy cool and awesome they did a fantastic job i was not expecting the last 10 minutes of the episode of the, of the season finale i feel like they were literally in like 1940s new york or something because like um there's been a little on talk on in the internet about stuff so basically um there was talk that they might be doing a crossover with Agent Carter, which will be super cool if, it, if that actually happened. And then um, they said, then Simmons dropped the fact that the Empire State Building might be the tallest building in the world. So, and she says, we have enough time. So that makes me think they time traveled to the 1940s where the Empire State Building is still being worked on. So that's my area. And plus they said like it was covered in fog. So that means, you know, in the 1940s there was a lot of, you know, smog and stuff. So I, to me, it makes sense that it'll be in 1940s. Especially if they're trying to hide from the Promocons that are in the present day. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. And that, um, you know, Fitz and Simmons had to separate again, which is crazy. So um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens next year, which I heard it's next summer that we'll be debuting this, which I'm like pissed off about. To me, if it was me, I'll be doing it in January. <laughs> just to close it out in 2020. But that's just me, like, January and February and March. Because all the shows are on hiatus then. Then they come back in a little bit in February. And then they cut again for March Madness. So that's when I would bring it back. But knowing them, they'll probably bring it back in the summer. Anyway. I thoroughly enjoyed this season. I thought it was great. I literally give this whole season A+. Plus. I mean, even the ones I was kind of like, you know, I was just like, whatever on. I mean, it was still a really good episode that I gave it like a B or B plus or whatever. But, here's the thing. Usually, during a B plus episode, I will look at my phone a little bit or I'll pause it and do something else for a second. These two episodes, my phone is like, was not happening. I didn't look at my phone like once. So when I ran into commercials, then I had to pause it for 20 minutes. So I'm fly through the commercials. But anyway, this was a really good season. I really enjoyed it. I'm super excited for what we're going to cook up next. And that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. I know this is like a super long video. And knowing me, it's probably going to be up around midnight. But we're going to see what happens, okay? So anyway, I'll see you on my next video. Hope you all have a super awesome day, evening, or whenever you watch this. Hope you have an awesome one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to the um, 42 new subscriber. I um, mean to the 42 subscribers that I have and to the three new ones that have joined since I went on, on my kind of break. Um, I might be start back to posting on Tuesday, maybe. We'll still see. I'm still feeling well. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.